So uh, we have three subnets, right? So dot ten subnet, the ten dot ten subnet, and this ten dot twenty subnet. Um, if we want to send a who is from this guy, okay, the orange device, and we're trying to look for this, I shouldn't change the color, but this other orange device. If we don't have BBMDs, it's not going to work, right? So the who is will be broadcasted. And I just want to reiterate here, it's going through a backnet router. The backnet router is still transferring the broadcast. So backnet routers do not block broadcast, backnet broadcast. This one will hit the IT router, the IP router, and the IP router will block it. Okay, so if we just stop there, uh, we would never be able to discover it. So that's where the BBMD comes into play. Uh, and uh, by the way, sorry, I forget to mention, a BBMD is most of the time not a separate device. And most of you probably have noticed that. It's just a function of another backnet IP device. You see how this who is hits every device in its subnet, including the device that's marked as a BBMD. We're going to call it BBMD A. The BBMD A is now going to see that this backnet broadcast message reached it and goes, oh, all right, I got to do my job. I'm going to take this backnet broadcast message. I'm going to convert it into a unicast message. And now where do I send it? Because if it's unicast, you have to send it directly to a certain place. So it's going to go through its BDT, its distribution table, and say, who do I send it to? All right, so in its BDT here, it says, I have B and I have F in it. Uh, B will be the IP address of BBMD B. F will be the IP address of BBMD F. So these are predefined, you as a user, as a programmer's configuration, you have to define these things. Right. So it looks at the BDT, it goes, okay, I have two entries in my BDT. I'm going to create two unicast who is messages. I'm going to send it directly to those BBMDs. So converts it, sends it directly to B. And because it's unicast, it goes through the IP router. Right. The second one is sent to F. So that's not a problem. It sent two unique unicast messages, one to B. One to F. All right, B will catch it, and it's going to say, okay, well, now i got to do the reverse function. I'm going to take this unicast message, convert it back into broadcast, and I'll dump it on my network. Okay, so it will convert it back into broadcast and send it to all the devices on this, broad, on, on this network. And again, it will reach the IP router, but the IP router will block it. Voila. Okay, so this is what a BBND does. It takes a backnet broadcast message, converts it into unicast. And when it's unicast backnet broadcast sent by one of my peer, I'm gonna convert it back into broadcast. So there's two functions. They call it two hop uh, broadcast distribution. Okay, so the first hop goes from broadcast to unicast. The second hop goes from unicast back to broadcast.